Now that Christmas is over, Paul, just to hit it right on the nail right on the head, I guess we're all looking forward to New Year's Eve and Absolutely. Uh, what the weather's going to be like. Well, you know what? Let's take your first look at New Year's Eve. I think I've got a pretty good handle on things. And right now, even if we get snow showers during the day on Tuesday, I think Tuesday evening, New Year's Eve itself will be dry, but it's going to be breezy and cold. Wind chills are going to be around 20. So as long as we can keep the roads dry, I'm fine with all the rest of it. The important thing, you know, they call it amateur night for a reason. Let's just keep those roads dry and uh, we'll all be good and happy with that. All right, right now, temperatures are generally in the mid 30s all across the board here. The wind is still around 5 to 10 miles per hour in many spots, but that's going to diminish and become almost dead calm before the night is over. And take a look. We've been getting storm pins of the Christmas Day sunset all week long, and this is just another spectacular one. This was taken on the Lake Erie shoreline between Monroe and Estro Beach. You're looking to the southwest here, and if you look right there, that is the Fermi 2 nuclear power plant there. And by the way, that is not smoke coming out the top of those because nuclear power plants do not emit smoke. That is pure steam. That's water vapor. It's steam that's coming out of those uh, towers. So uh, that's a great shot. Thank you for sending that in. That's a, nice, that's a really cool shot. All right, we're continuing to watch moisture continue to pool and really expand here in the nation's midsection. We have quite a storm that's winding up here. A lot of Gulf moisture coming in off that uh, Gulf of Mexico and the cold air is coming down here. So on the back side of this thing, there is real deal snow that is going to be dealt with over the next uh, 36 hours. This pink area here is all a winter storm warning from the Arrowhead of Minnesota all the way down through Nebraska and even parts of northeast Colorado. So this is this is a pretty serious storm for those folks out there. I'll show you the snow totals there in a minute. It's, it's pretty obscene. So we have high pressure that's in control through tonight. Now the clouds have hung tough, but we still think that there's going to be some at least partial clearing later tonight and then into the day tomorrow, at least partial sunshine. So not a bad day with a high temperature and low to mid 40s.